Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to show you a quick video of how to set up your proportioner uh, at the beginning of the shift so that your pump is primed, ready to go. Okay, so now I want to show you how to prime uh, your pump through your proportioner. And I apologize, I'm doing this uh, with one hand here. I don't have a camera guy. I'm not that cool. So bear with me. Uh, basically, you got the proportioner here. Go ahead and open it up. You got your metering valves there. And I've gone ahead and labeled uh, the proportioner. So you got oh, like a water tank, a blue tank, which this is our blue water tank. And then on top, we actually have on the right, there's a hose going into the water tank and that's our supply. So that's coming from outside the trailer from the, the water source and it's filling up this tank. And then here we got a water line and then another water line and they tie in, one of them ties in here and then one of them ties in here. And depending on this two way, which um, option we've chose. So right now we're on water we'll go ahead and it'll draw from that blue tank. This is my water supply. So it comes in from outside, from the ground, like through the bottom of the trailer, up into this header. And then we can choose if we want the water to go into the blue tank or to our vertical tank, which goes all the way around and then drops into our vertical tank, which is tied into our 5.6 gallon a minute pressure washer down here. So yeah, having a header is very important so you can select where the water goes because uh, very important is water management. You're only gonna get so much water from the source, but if you can manage it properly, then you're able to operate, you know, different pumps, uh, pressure washers, all independently, just by managing the water intake. Now, um, for priming this guy, um, we also have a three-way valve. The bottom one here, um, this comes into the three-way. That's from the proportioner. So that's just your supply of mix or fluid. And then you can select pointing straight up. We've labeled it. That's going to go directly to our reel. So this hose leads right up into our hose reel. As you can see there, through the swivel. Or if we put this sideways it's going to go into our bypass, which just kind of leads underneath. You follow the line there, and then we just bypass it into a bucket. That's how we prime our pump and get all the air out and get lots of fluid in that pump. So uh, getting all the air out is really important that the pump doesn't uh, eventually cavitate. Uh, the other nice thing about your prime line is that you can actually fill up a bucket if you need to go like X jet something, or if you just want a little bit of bleach or some um, water bleach mix in a bucket that you're going to go use remotely. You can just turn on your pump and use the prime line to just fill a bucket with whatever desired mix ratio that you want. So that's nice. Now, um, here's your metering valves again. Now with the soap, I have it tied in so that the line goes up here and then I can select through here and I've labeled it. If this valve's facing down, I know I'm pulling roof soap. If it's facing this way, I know I'm pulling house soap. So our house soap is our apple wash and our roof soap is our secret agent. And they're tied in separately. You can see some hoses back there. Apple wash makes a mess. It's great stuff, but uh, it, uh, it definitely stains a little bit. So you gotta be careful with it. Now, at this point, to go ahead and prime up this pump, you're going to prime each valve separately. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, make sure that your your um, line is set over to prime and that you got your hose inside of a bucket or somewhere where you can uh, prime your line. On here, I got a valve in the middle so that when we're done with it, we can close it and it doesn't uh, leak. So I got that open. Now... What you want to do is make sure all of your lines or all of your metering valves are closed. They're all closed now. You're going to turn on your pump. Sorry, you're going to open up one of the valves first. We got this set to water, so we'll just prime it with water first. Open up one valve all the way. Turn on your pump. We're going to start filling up this bucket here. See the 
water coming through. Once you hear it kind of change the sound, it's pumping nice, shut it off. Close this valve, open up your next one, same thing. Turn on the pump. Watch that water come through. Listen to your pump. You hear it make a change in sound. There it is. Turn that off. Simply close that valve and then open up your soap valve. And we're gonna be doing some house washing with apple wash. So we're just gonna quickly get some apple wash going through our line. and close this valve now I like to switch over to the bleach and I'll go ahead and prime that as well so because that's tied into this one which is bleach and water I'll go ahead and open this prime the bleach line there we go that's good Now we can go ahead and switch our three-way back over to real because we're all primed and ready to go. And we can go ahead and turn this pump on. It's gonna build pressure up to about 90 PSI and then it'll automatically kick out. These smartwatch pumps are designed to kick out when it reaches 90 PSI so that they don't continue to operate and burn out your motor. And we're good to go. Grab your uh, your gun with your J-Rod on it. I got a valve up here so there's no leaks ever. Pull that out. And all through the power of a 12 volt battery and a 12 volt pump, you're rocking. Takes about two or three minutes for the the mixture to get through the line, and uh, then you're you're good to go. Pump kicks out at about 90 psi again, and the real really nice thing about this is that you can um, switch your mix on the fly. So all of a sudden you uh, need to do the roof, or you need to do some stucco, and you need a stronger mix. You can adjust your type of soap through here and you can adjust your strength of your mix. So if you wanna go really, really strong, you'd have it uh, all the way open like it is. This is all the way open. If you want it a little bit less, there you go. Very easy to adjust. And even with this proportioner, there's some suggested uh, ratios. So hopefully that helps.